Hello, my name is Austin Stone, and I'm going to be presenting my Python final project. Uh, I chose to do my project in uh, using the Flask framework. So um, to start off, I'll show you my uh, file hierarchy. I, uh, I use uh, the standard hierarchy of files that all Flask uh, applications should be using. I have my templates folder and my static folder. Inside static, I have uh, content which has some CSS. Uh, there's some fonts and um, some jQuery scripts and stuff in case I need to include them on pages, as well as some images. Um, so then I also have templates, which uh, I render these templates to display HTML. And then I also have uh, fl I have two classes, uh, the SQL server and the views. Views is um, where I declare all my routes and uh, t tell the in in tell you know what route returns what to the user. Um, so if you look at uh, my code, I have um, I have an SQL server uh, class and then the views class. So the views class basically handles requests. From the user, and um, we query the SQL server to uh, display these things. So um, most, of, a lot of these methods are done through GET and POST, uh, as I do AJAX calls that um, display JSON formatted data to the user. If we look at um, my layouts page, here's the HTML that is uh, rendered. And I pass in uh, objects, um, and I loop through them with for loops and all of that. Uh, and then I would I would display. So for, so for this, for example, here I'm rendering the cart, and uh, for all the products in the cart, each row in the cart, I uh, display the image, the name, the quantity, the price, and um, I have a remove button that's associated with the user. Um, I also have down here. I have some scripts. So the add uh, add cart script and the remove cart script are both in JavaScript because I wanted things to be um, all happening on the page at once, all asynchronous, like an application, instead of it having it like a normal website where you're constantly refreshing the page. Um, so basically, this just sends a request, uh, an AJAX uh, request to a post type to the uh, Flask server, and I uh, get some JSON data back. So on success, I run this function, which um, animates my cart icon, shakes it a little bit, and uh, appends this data to the cart. So um, I think we should look at the application itself. Um, so here, here's the application. It's running on a server that I own. Um, I have a user in there that actually has empty credentials just to make it easy. Uh, we can we can sign up real quick. If we sign up, we can make an account here, but we already have an account. Um, I'm actually going to sign into an account with a name. And uh, when you sign into your account, uh, you'll get a, a hello message with your username. Here's the store. The store pulls images from the SQL database, the price, um, all these things. These buttons are generated and they associate with the product. If you um, add to the cart, it will uh, appear here. So I can add to the cart. You'll notice it bounces. If you click here, you'll see your uh, book has been added. And um, yeah, you're able to add multiple uh, items for different prices. And they will all appear here. Um, and then you can go ahead and check out. You can hit log out here to bring you back to the user page. And uh, yeah, that's my project. Thank you.